Several months ago, I have modified my 3D printer to be a 2D printer. I printed some beautiful figures using some mathematical equation. With the help of Excel, I can simply generate the G-code file and print them. Today, I will try to use a similar method to 3D print them. Keep watching. I'm Henry. Welcome to Tubeo Channel. Let's start. For 2D plot figure, I must know the initial height of the pen. For 3D printing, there is no need for this step, but you must know the filament extruding length. There are a lot of tutorials to teach you how to do it. I'm assured that you have already adjusted your 3D printer. I will escape this step by using a simple 3D motor and slicing software that you used for your normal motor. You can use this 10 times 10 times 1 mm square block motor or just use your previous motor and the G-code file. Open the G-code file with Notepad++. It should be like this. You can use G-code language in the language menu. If you cannot find this option, please download the G-code add-on from the internet. You can find them using the keyword Notepad++ and G-code language. I will also put a link in the description below. In the several top lines of the G-code file, they are leading by the semicolon marks. It is mean they are common lines. They will not take effect when 3D printing. Then, you will find the colored lines that start 3D printing command. M73, P0, R77 mean that in the 3D printer display screen, it will display the progress 0% and the remain 77 minutes. And other commands meaning you can find them from the marine code homepage. These commands will initialize your 3D printer. And from here, G1, X44, Y42, and E0.0029 will give the 3D printer order that moves the head to X44, Y42, and extrude 0.029mm filament. Copy several lines to a new file. Open it with Excel and select a separate using tab. Now, this file is like this. X and Y are position coordination. We can calculate the distance between these two points. And the extruding factor as well. Finally, we get the extruding factor average value. This value is just for your 3D printer using your configuration profile with the slicing software you used. Now open another Excel file that generates rose figures. This figure I have explained in the previous video. Change parameters N and D and select the figure which you want to print. For example, N equals 6 and D equals 71. The calculation sheet will calculate every point automatically that makes the rose figure. In the output sheet, the figure will adjust the size to fit your 3D printer. Also, you can adjust the scale factor that you just get from the extruding filament calculation. And you can adjust the feeling density similar to the 3D printer. At first, I will try 100% feeling density. In the G-code sheet, all the X, Y position and extrude information will be collected together as a simple data sheet. Save this data sheet as a text format separated with tab. Change the saved file extension to G-code. Open the file with Notepad++. It looks like this. The first line is not necessary. We add a semicolon or just delete it. Open the sample G-code file. Copy the starting part that initialize the 3D printer. We don't use a support layer, so directly start with Z 0.2mm height. This figure will be printed continuously once a time only, with no stop. After the first layer is finished, we copy all this code and paste them to the end. Change Z 0.2 to Z 0.4 which indicated the printer height will be 0.2mm. You can add more if you want, but I just test two layers only. Let's see how it's going on. 
We can see the printing processes are going well. The 100% density is too dense, since a lot of cross parts will increase the thickness. We change the density to 20, 30, 50, 70, and 100%. Now, we can see the difference between them. The 20% sample is very thin. It is too weak to use. The 100% sample is too thick. I think the 50% or 70% sample is good. We can use it to make a teacup ball. In this case, we will make it a 2mm thick sample. Use copy and paste and every 0.2mm Z-code cycle. Increase the Z-number 0.2mm each until to 2mm. Next time, I will make a macro to run these processes. Let's see the final board looks like. It is very beautiful. We have printed a nice 3D model without using STL file and slicing software. Can even turn the G-code file to ST file again. A software called Voxelizer can do the job. I also put a link in the description below. After opening the G-code file, choose the tools menu. Select the voxelizer to change the G-code to motor. Select 0.1mm thickness or use your height number 0.2mm in my case. It will take a while to change the format. The change the motor is a little different from the directly printed motor. Save it as STL format. This STL file has a lot of faces. You can see the motor, but I cannot slice this STL to generate a G-code file. I have tried a prusa. Kura. An idea maker slicing software. Also, I can see the file using Fusion 360 and export as an STL file again. But I still can't slice this STL file. I will put the STL file in the link description below. If someone can make it work, please give your comment. I appreciate your help in advance. And finally, I have found a method that makes the STL file. It takes me a very long time and I don't want to do it again. Briefly, I explained here. Copy the figure generated from Excel to Illustrator. Modify the figure and save the figure in SVG format. Use Blender to extrude this SVG file and save it in STL format. In this step, some problem occurs. The Blender cannot correctly show the SVG figure. Open STL file with Prusa slicing software. Cut the top and the bottom unwanted parts. Then slicing the new motor to generate the G-code file. It takes a very long time to finish. Anyway, it is well done. Then print the motor. Here is the final motor. We can see the directly printed motor is much better than the STL slicing motor. Not only does it need much less printing time, less filament material, but also the pattern is much more natural. I prefer using this method for my future teacup ball. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel and click the small bell. So you will not miss the update. Till your channel is waiting for you.